Nigeria, arguably the largest oil producer in Africa, was holding an estimated 37.1 billion barrels of proven crude oil reserves at the beginning of 2023. The petroleum industry accounts for about 9% of the country's GDP and almost 90% of all export value. Nigeria also has some of the largest natural gas deposits in the world, with over 206.5 trillion cubic feet of proven reserves. There are currently has about 37 billion barrels of oil reserves and nearly 210 trillion cubic feet of natural gas reserves. That's, that's huge. Certainly we are not optimally using the petroleum reserves that we have. And as a result of not producing, according to even the limited OPEC quota of maybe about uh, 1.8 million barrels per day, the development uh, strategy that we have in mind has been limited. I see grappling with electricity, even though we have the, the largest gas reserves in West Africa and Nigeria, we're still grappling with infrastructural development, we're still grappling with even provision of common amenities that people would have. Every year there's this amount of money that is budgeted, but it's never utilized. You, don't, you have never had a situation where we had 70% of budget utilization. However, faced with several challenges, including environmental pollution, corruption and political instability. The country's heavy dependence on oil has decreased somewhat in recent years, with oil accounting for only about 5.6% of Nigeria's gross domestic product in the third quarter of 2022. The sector is bedeviled with different opacities, you know, corruption and all of the anti-corruption issues that we're having, the mega ones are usually within the oil and gas sector. And when you continuously have that year in, year out, there's little you can do about the development um, of your people. Nigeria no doubt struggles to manage her wealth to realize her full potential in 63 years of independence with oil and gas experts and vast reasons to explain the rot in the sector over the years that has made oil more of a cause than a blessing. I must confess that we are not doing well. There's no reason why Nigeria should be struggling to produce uh, 2.5 million barrels per day today with 37 billion barrels of oil. And actually potential for over 60 billion with proper investments and uh, uh, excellency in governance. And that's what PIA was designed to accomplish. Unfortunately, like I mentioned earlier, I'm very disappointed. Environmental activists like David Ugolo and the late Ken Sarowiwa, who was also a renowned Nigerian writer, have been fighting against the environmental degradation caused by crude oil exploration in Ogoni land and the entire Niger Delta region. Ugolo believes that past years, have not really changed the narrative, even with the enactment of the Petroleum Industry Act 2021. As a growing up young child, you can easily go to the stream and catch a fish in your nearby home, but that's not possible any longer again. And painfully is that the oil company that has come to cause all this problem, the people cannot get employment in those companies. As you know, uh, it's a highly skilled industry. The source of livelihood and source of occupation for the people, which is farming, uh, is no longer there. So when you see the complexity of the problem in the Niger Delta, it's very unfortunate. Dr. Michael Uzugwe is an extractives governance expert and former EITI country manager for Anglophone Africa. He is one of those who fought for the enactment of the Petroleum Industry Act in 2021 to address some of the industry's old problems. It's been a roller coaster journey since independence. We have had a number of good stories to tell in terms of infrastructural development. Um, and most people always give the example of Abuja having been built from scratch from oil, with, with oil money. Um, but there have, there have been missed opportunities in a number of ways. After 63 years, we're at a point where we should be asking critical questions about uh, what the future holds for Nigeria as far as oil is concerned. We need to open up the sector a lot more, let people understand what is going on. We need to also work on the legal and, and, and uh, uh, um, uh, regulatory framework for the sector. Yes, we are happy that the PIA 
um, has been has been passed or was passed in 2021. Mm -hmm. But the speed with which we have been implementing the PIA also calls for uh, some questions. Gas is expected to carry Nigeria as it transits from fossil fuels, but that is only if there is transparency and accountability, without which the country may just lose its major source of revenue that has carried it on its back for as long as 63 years. Mwesi Igono, AIT News, Abuja, Nigeria's capital.